It was a Sunday morning and Norman called me at my loft and said, I know it's Sunday. Bud and I are here with a man that needs some old clothes on him because we're going to show him to CBS this afternoon. And so that was my first meeting with Red Fox. And I ran back to my studio and dug up what I could in suspenders I knew would work, anything that would age him and take him from, you know, the hip ghetto guy to the old junk man. And they said, we need an old junk man. And so that was the description of the show because they said, this man and his son are gonna run a junkyard and we don't know where we're going from there, but uh, it was taken from scripts again for a, a, a British sitcom. And they said, we need to make it American. And whatever point of view we come up with, I think he'll sell it, you know. Well, CBS passed on it and NBC picked it up. That had a wonderful palette of grungy greens and grays and and when I would punch it up with that old brownish burgundy shawl colored sweater I think that was the thing I had pulled out that day and put on him that sold him as an old man because he was you know the dirtiest man I have ever I mean he said things to me that I had never heard and didn't understand and didn't want to. And the young man, I think I might have bought him his first pair of new pants. Um, what can I say about that show? It was, we went down into the ghetto and found another point of view of people in this country. And I think it was funny, but it also said a lot about the black condition at that time. That sweater that Red Fox wore, is that, was that a one-of-a-kind thing, too? Yes, it was. And I was looking for it to have it out in my studio, and I can't find it. I hope I can somewhere. Okay. Um, it, what were some of the other ones? Uh, I know he had a plaid bathrobe that he seemed to wear an awful lot. Pasadena, once again. <laughs> Wonderful junk shops. There was another costume, the pinstripe suit with the bow tie. That yes. Was often, he often wore. Yep. I think I may have had that hanging up at my studio. Uh, but you see, he was the gentleman caller. He was the ladies' man, and he loved, you know, that fedora. And it, it again, it was the stylish quality that our black culture has brought to this country. And I think he had it over his son, of course. Two different, two different kinds of style. In terms of costuming, was he willing to do anything? Uh, I know there was a lot of comic things that he would do with costumes. Yes, yeah. He loved props. Any, any good comic does. 